Hey guys, how's it going? Well, <coughs> just been pretty busy as you can tell. Uh, just got some radios in and I just got some radios converted. In the back tier, well, in the back you see a VHF, 800 megahertz. It's those, these are all 5K Model 3s. Another VHF, another 800. They all have 9600 baud, that's a VHF. All the VHFs and UHFs have FPP programmed into them, with the exception of the Moto Turbos. I've got right at, just just under, I'd have to do another, uh, I need to do a little bit of inventory uh, at my shop, but I think with these, and also these, uh, roughly, I'm just about ready to release. It's taken a while to do this, and that's why the videos, uh, that's why I've been kind of quiet lately, is because I've had a lot of, uh, I've had a lot of private sales, and I've had a lot of uh, radios that just needed to have conversions done. So, I've been working at it. <laughs> it takes a lot, a lot, a lot of time and it takes a lot of patience, it takes a lot of money and uh, but these radios are ready to go. The 800's have 9600 baud trunking uh, the 2500's all have FPP in the flash these are the original housings oh yeah Motorola <laughs> they've got the do not block vents stickers on them for them and I've got about I don't know 15 of these maybe 20 could be probably 15 uh, but I've actually got units that have to be uh, that are awaiting conversions and you'll see that in a minute uh, these radios have already undergone conversions these are all the VHFs Beautiful units. And I use nothing but brand new Motorola parts for these. Most of these were Model 1s and I've upgraded the keypads, the housings, the LCD, the firmware, and the flash. These radios need nothing. They're just ready to go. These are all VHF. And they all have legit tags, new uh, CMOS batteries. I don't know if that's a word or if that's an acronym or what in the hell it is. But it's just a battery that goes inside uh, the board of the radio and keeps the clock uh, the clock function actually working. Those are the rated capacity and things like that. The FPP all you have to do is just there's no passwords on here. You can enter them but you don't need to. Enter your TX. Once you're done with that, enter your RX. Once you're done with that, PL, RX and TX, DPL, if you want to use that, the NAC is editable, and both on TX and RX. RX is set to mix, but you can go from digital to analog, but in the menu, uh, you'll find very few radios that actually have all these features enabled. TX, you can go from digital to analog. Keypad's hot on all of them. Bandwidth is selectable. And channel naming, editable. And beautiful.
Oh, let's see here. Uh, I'm just trying to go through. Oh, this, this is a brand new Impress charger. These do have the, the meters on them. I've got four of these, I believe. Yeah, four of them. All of these have 3.90 firmware in them. Each pocket has to be firmware upgraded and each LCD has to be firmware upgraded. As you can tell, the information that it gives off is very, very valuable. If you do fleet maintenance, you can get a battery reader. You can check on my videos. I've seen that. I picked this one up. This case for a Model 3. Not in bad shape. Bottom's missing the logo though, but other than that, not too bad. Uh, let's see here. Okay, the Moto Turbos. You guys wanted to see those. Hang on a second. I think I've got the mic behind me, but I might not. Yeah, that mic, mic is probably at the shop, so these are the motor turbos. They're very good units. <laughs> Lithium ion batteries. I'm awaiting some dust covers and I'm also awaiting some, L, some more LCDs. Uh, not LCDs, but keypads. This one's a 6550, and then I've got a 6500. This is an R split, I believe. On the back of the, or on these units, I don't have a tripod. Son of a bitch. This one's intrinsically safe. This is how you get the battery off of it. You depress this latch and pull down on it. And if I could do this with one hand, uh, very lucky to do it. Maybe this will work. Depress the latch, pull down on the battery and it comes out. Hope you guys saw that. They take lithium ion batteries, they're very light radios and they're very popular radios. Do not block fence stickers on them and all the tags and everything are legit. And Comes with a Impress battery. These I don't know how long I'm going to hold on to them. I do have some programming uh, issues with these radios because the program on the Moto Turbo. Uh, I've been told by several people that once you get it going, and once you understand it, it's something you'll never forget. And that kind of parallels to what I tell uh, what I tell folks about the. Uh, well, just any kind of software, really, that's on here. These do do MDC and Quick Call. I don't know if I have these programmed in right. Uh, I may not. We'll see. MDC. I believe this is call one. Okay, it. Son of a bitch. Program. I don't believe it's programmed in. Am I in the right zone? I believe I am. Okay, call alert. I've got a lot of work to do on these radios to understand them. The scanless uh, utilities. I just haven't had very much time to mess with these things radio settings 
radio info. Let's go back. Uh, zone scan contacts. You can make contact lists on lists on these. Okay. That should put out a ton, I believe. But these do communicate with each other. I won't. I get real bad feedback on here, so watch your speakers. Check, check, check. I don't know if that's turned up loud enough. We'll find out. Check, check, check. Yeah, a little louder than I wanted. But. One's a 6550, one's a 6500. This one is an S-split, this one is an R-split. Uh, very good units for motor turbos as far as motor turbos go. Uh, but when you line a motor turbo up against the 5000, uh, well, <laughs> sorry, but I'm, I'm kind of partial to the 5000s. Yeah, no apologies there, it just happens to be my opinion. But uh, at the same time, these are very light, very quick carry radios, and if you can get past the CPS on something like this, uh, you'll be doing good. Uh, the, I think it's just the CPS and me not really knowing that much about it, not having time to actually go in and really explore the CPS like I'd like to. I just haven't had time to do that. But I do have them talking to each other and you know that in itself is uh, just for the time involved in this is kind of surprising. Digital channels uh, let's see I believe these could be analog channels. It does have a slow crawl on here which is kind of cool. There we go. see here. It's just a matter of getting in. I do like this volume up and down on here. I just don't know that much about the radios. I was going to carry these but the CPS, until I figure out the CPS, I don't plan on uh, going too big on these. Uh, keypads are hot on both believe so. And let me get it out of this. These are digital by the way. Uh, let me get back in zone. I believe I've got this on analog. Okay, digital channel. I don't need to see that. Zone. Come on. Alright, zone. Digital channel selection. Okay, zone one. Son of a bitch. Okay, I don't want zone one. I want zone two. Ah, well. I'm not going to dick with it. Yeah, I am. <laughs> yeah, I am. I'm going to give it one more try. Back. Back, back, back. Jeez. Man, you know, I'll just tell you straight out. When you don't, when I, I haven't spent that much time on these radios, they're a real bitch. Uh, most radios you can just go into and you can just pick them up and man you're off to the races, but not so with Moto Turbos. I'm not knocking them in any way. I don't want digital channels selected, you son of a bitch. God. What are we on here? Well, we might just, we might have to just see how rugged these things are. My temper starts getting the best of me here in a minute. Hmm. Okay, I get it. Digital. 
this is set to zone, I'll be damned. Zone 1. I don't want zone 1. I want zone fucking 2. Ah, God. I tell ya. Let's try this one, see what this does. There's zone 2. There's zone 1. Okay, maybe I only had one zone in. I may have only... Yeah, I guess I only did one with one zone, that's it. Alright, well... Zone 1 and Zone 2, I guess I need to make another zone in that. Uh, you can name these zones and do all that, but I don't know. They're, they're good radios, but at the same time, uh, they won't be... Uh, well, it depends on your application, it really does. Yeah, I only programmed evidently... Oh, okay, if I've got a channel in here... These are all talk groups. I never would have picked these things up up for this video. View number. I don't need to look at the number. 9901. Well, back. <laughs> God, if you guys are sticking with me on this, you're more hardcore than I am. Um, digital channels, okay. I've just got to dick with a little more. I'll tell you one thing, these motor turbos are a hell of a lot more complicated than 2500s and 5000s. The 5000s are in really really nice shape and they're going to be beautiful uh, radios for anybody who picks them up. This one is actually a trucking radio. So it's a Model 3 with, with uh, trucking in it. And the rest are FPP. This is the only VHF I've got that does not have FPP in the flash. And I'm probably going to keep it that way and I'm probably going to sell it that way. Because there's a lot of folks in Australia and there's a lot of folks in different areas that seem to really want uh, XDS 5000s and VHF that aren't FPP but they want the trunking. I'm still trying to mess with this radio. Digital channels. back on Moto Turbo 1, who knows. But, you know, as far as the Moto Turbos go, I guess they're fine. Once I get used to them, once I figure out how the damn things work, uh, it shouldn't be that difficult. But what's funny in the CPS, I think they, they mentioned something about taking like a five-day class. Uh, they want techs to actually go through a five-day class to study the CPS and maybe that's not a bad idea maybe that's a really good idea but you know when it gets right down to it uh, it should be pretty straightforward on what you need to do and how you need to do it and I'm pretty sure it is it's just I don't know maybe I've hit a brick wall in my uh, in my knowledge of programming just at this point I do have some radios that are Model 2's that are getting ready to be converted. I'm waiting on keypads. These are already flashed for FPP. But you can't do anything with this until the keypad comes in. Once the keypad comes in, swap it out with the housing, put a brand new keypad in, off to the races. It's already, these are actually converted Model 3's. Model 2's to Model 3's, I mean with FPP. So all I'm really waiting on is just uh, and just the keypads and once I get the key, keypads in uh, I believe I've got six on the way anyway I hope everything's been going going good with you guys if you uh, need to get 
any of these radios, you know how to find me on eBay, Snarling Rabbit Dog. Uh, you won't see all the radios. I don't list uh, anywhere near what's in my inventory, but uh, that's one thing about YouTube is you kind of get a good idea of, of what I'm carrying at the moment. Just because you don't see it on eBay does not mean it's for sale. Every one of these radios is for sale. But the prices are at a very fair price and you're getting the very best of the very best on these radios. I put a lot of time and a lot of money in converting these radios using brand new OEM Motorola parts, brand new CMOS batteries. What's that Moto Turbo doing? Out of range. I'm not that crazy about these Moto Turbos, just straight out. But at the same time, you know, it's probably just the fact that it's just something I need to get my feet wet on. I haven't had time to, and that's a shame, but I think these radios are very fun radios. Uh, they do have secure channels, and if they're mated, to another motor turbo uh, you can't pick them up on a scanner so you know in that in that respect that that's a good thing I suppose I'm not that much into encryption but I know a lot of people are never have figured out why but uh, you know unless you're in law enforcement there's really no need for encryption uh, law enforcement or you know certain areas uh, but encryptions uh, not a big priority and never has been on uh, on my side, but I, I've got a lot of modules uh, to sell and I've got a lot of gear to move. Anyway, I'm running out of time on this after dicking around with these things. I had the dust covers, but I'm going to probably do. I've got the dust covers and impressed chargers with them. I may just let these go uh, and just just not carry them because really, I mean, as nice as they are, they're kind of a pain in the ass. They really are. I mean, just for from a learning standpoint, uh, I think that once you get to talk groups, once you get everything set in here, it's not that bad. But the programming uh, on this, uh, number one, the cable is uh, a dual purpose cable in that actually if it fits a motor turbo, that, that particular cable, it'll do an APX radio. So I've got the cables for an APX, should I ever get one of those. And I don't really plan on doing that, but not at this time, but when I do, uh, you know, you'll be the first to know about it. But anyway, I may let these go uh, just as they are, because they are so difficult and I just don't have time to dick with them. Uh, but at the same time, I'm just thinking about it. I need to figure out how much, uh, you know, how much they're going for, and I've got a good idea. I've researched these radios a lot. I just haven't had time to get into the CPS, but a lot of people have been writing me and they've been want wanting to know about the videos. I uh, appreciate the likes. Keep hitting that like button. That helps me out. It lets me know that you guys are still interested in these radios and in, in what's going on with them. Uh, I try to answer the questions as time permits and as best I can. Uh, if you need to get a hold of me, most people know how to do that. Uh, I do have some radios that are, uh, that are coming in from conversions that are up, up in Michigan. They're going to be coming back real soon. And I've got a couple more uh, Model 2s that are Q-split that are on the way. And most of these will come with uh, either Impress or Intellichargers or Tricam. Just whatever I decide to pack, pack together with them. I've got all the gear that uh, is needed. It's taken quite a while to, to get a very good selection and to build up the inventory to the point where it is, to where I can handle pretty much anything anybody throws at me. Uh, the high split XTS 5000s are still a little bit out of reach. Uh, I think people need to stay away from those. If they're 5000s and if they have a lithium ion battery on the back, uh, they're just, uh, there's some issues with those 5000s. If you write me, I'll tell you all about it. Uh, but if you're looking for an S split in a 5000, uh, 
if you really, really want to make sure that you're getting uh, something that's not a headache, uh, get a hold of me first, and I will do do my best to, you know, aim you in the right direction and check it out. Anyway, yeah, 800 megahertz. I've got 900 megahertz. It's going to be coming in 2500. These are all Model 3 2500s. Uh, I've got the gang chargers with displays and without. Uh, these will also fit, if you've got the inserts, they'll fit the APX radios and the Moto Turbos if you've got the inserts. Uh, the radio or the gang chargers just come as they are for set for the 5000, HD1000, MTS2000, you know the gist. Uh, Jedi radios and 5000-2500 series and, and anybody who's got the uh, XTS 3000 uh, radios or 3500s those fit in there as well anyway that's pretty much what's going on I hope everything's going good with you guys if you have any questions you know how to get a hold of me if you uh, want to buy a radio you can get a hold of me uh, just make sure you know what you want make sure you know your band split and uh, make sure you have the money and you realize how much these radios actually uh, are going to set you back. You can go on eBay and you can check them out. Uh, you can go to my little eBay store. It really only exists as a store because I've knocked my... That store uh, is only open because they were charging 10 to 13 percent. Well, if I get a store, then it goes down to 6 percent in final value fees. It was a no-brainer. Uh, you know, you sell one radio uh, in a month's time, and it pays for, you know, several months. So, you know, in that area, it's not bad. But, you know, that's pretty much what's going on. I've got a lot of radios to move, and as time permits, I will. A lot of the radios are out. Uh, some of them are listed on eBay, and the others will be right behind it as they sell. Anyway guys, and the VHFs have been moving pretty quick, so that's a good thing. I've just been trying to keep up with the supply and the demand of them. Uh, the 2500s haven't been doing too bad, uh, but the 5000s seem to pull a little, little bit more interest. But 2500s are very good quick carry radios. You don't deal with a lot of the crap that you deal with on the motor turbos. But when I say that, you know, I say that uh, knowing that it's it's my uh, there's it's my problem in that I haven't spent enough time in the CPS to actually get to get to know the radios. So I'll be the first to admit that I'm never going to knock any radio that uh, like a Moto Turbo. Looking at them and knowing the performance and going through and researching these radios, I know what they're capable of. The programming is just a nightmare, but uh, you know once you know once these radios are programmed correctly, and once I figure that out, it's not going to be a nightmare anymore, and these radios will be very viable. But at this time, you know, I just haven't had time to get spend too much time in the CPS to do it. Golly, 28 minutes, man. Uh, well, you know, if you uh, live through that, you know, you got got you got more more than I thought, more interest in it than I thought you did. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you want to see any of these radios, uh, give me, you know, drop me a comment or whatever. I'll try to do my very best. Uh, the radios that you see, uh, you can get a hold of me and, you know, I'll knock 6% off of uh, any listed price on a radio that is not listed on eBay. If it's listed on eBay, it's got to sell on eBay. If you get a hold of me outside of eBay and ask me about a radio that's not listed, well, I'll give you the 6% and I won't list it and I'll sell it to you direct and you can have that, you can have that benefit. So it's up to you. But anyway, take it easy guys. Hope you're doing well. Uh, these Moto Turbos are great radios, but you know, they've got a lot of potential. Until I figure them out, and I just haven't had time to, uh, I can't even do a decent review on them other than just show you that they transmit and receive. But, you know, at the same time, this one's set up uh, to a repeater and talk around, and I don't know. 
Ah, oh, boy. But, you know, at the same time, they're very good radios. And a lot of agencies use them, but more businesses use them, more security companies use them. Uh, you know, they're more, they're not as rugged as, uh, say, a 5000 or 2500 but they are very good radios. Don't don't ever sell one of these short. They're very very good radios. But take it easy, guys. Hope you're doing well. Got any questions? Let me know. And later on.